Wow. There are two types of coating. Uh, one is sugar coating and second is flame coating. Flame coating can be further divided into different, different subclasses. When you talk about sugar coating, sugar coating involves application of sugar solution, okay, along with colors in order to give uniform and elegant flip. It has some major advantages. We have seen the advantages of coating. Apart from that advantages, okay, there are some special advantages which sugar coating has. The special advantage or unique advantage that sugar coating has is first, it masks unpleasant odor, okay. So whatever, if, if your drug is having some unpleasant odor or your excipients are having some unpleasant odor, then all these unpleasant odors can be masked because of the sugar coating. Sugar coating not only masks the odor, but it also masks the bitter taste. It not only masks the bitter taste, but it also gives a sweet taste because sugar is sweet in taste. Okay, hence it gives a sweet taste to the preparation, to the dosage form, that is the tablet. And hence it is very, very acceptable by the pediatric patient. It is having, uh, it is a very, uh, after sugar coating, the tablet becomes quite glossy in nature. And this hence it is very highly elegant. So it is, it gives a very elegant and gloss tablet. You get a very elegant and gloss tablet after sugar coating. Moving further, the duration for sugar coating, as I told you, it goes on for hours. Okay, it goes on in about five to six hours, or it can go up to one or two days also. Now, the process of sugar coating involves it involves post uh, uh, five steps: it is sealing, sub coating, therapy, finishing, and lastly polishing. Okay. Now, whenever we are doing coating, there are some uh, what you call that uh, tableting conditions that are required. Some conditions are required with the tablet. One of the conditions that is required with the tablet is okay that the tablet should be resistant to breakage it should be resistant to chipping and it should be resistant to abrasion in short it should have adequate me mechanical strength so that you have seen the equipment you have seen the process of coating so that it can uh, take the tumbling of the tablet okay that much mechanical strength it should have and while tumbling of the tablet by rotating the tablet inside the tablet bed okay it should not chip or break Okay, more so in case of uh, sugar coated tablet, this property is required because sugar coated uh, coating takes on for a long duration of time. Flim coating takes near about one to three hours, whereas sugar coating takes to near about eight hours to near about one to two days. Okay, hence this property is of a mechanic is required with the tablet when you are going, going to do the sugar coating. And see the first step that is sealing. In sealing, what you do is you protect the you protect the tablet, you seal the tablet layer. Okay. So you seal the tablet with the help of the seal coating agent, such as shellac and zine. There are other agents also like olic acid, PG, PEG, alcohol, methyl methylene chloride. Okay, these also can be used, but the two major ingredients which are used in uh, sealing of the tablet is shellac and zine. Why do you want to uh, uh, so seal the tablet or why you want to coat the tablet? It, the reason, the first, why do I do apply the sealing coat is, the reason is because you want to prevent the moisture which you are going to add further, the liquid that you are going to add further. You don't want the moisture to penetrate inside the tablet coat. Because what is going to happen if the moisture penetrates inside the tablet coat and then further you apply some coating onto it, then there is no, there will not be any space for the moisture to get out of the tablet. Okay, the moisture cannot be removed out of the tablet further because the tablet is now coated. And this moisture which is present inside the tablet is going to cause the degradation of the tablet. Okay, hydrolysis as we have already seen in pre-formulation. So it is going to cause degradation of the tablet. So in order to avoid the degradation of the tablet, you, you pre prevent, the, you pro provide the sealing to the tablet with the seal coat. The two agent, as I told you earlier, are sub coating, uh, which is a second step in sugar coating, in which we have seen that what we do is, it is done in order, the purpose of it is in order to have uniform edges and in order to build up the tablet size. Now, uh, the material that is used, there are two types of material I use. 
you use powders okay and you are using binders now when you are using powders the powders that are used are calcium carbonate talc and kaolin and the binders that are used are gummy substances like you know gelatin sugar cane powder corn syrup uh, simple syrup okay uh, distilled water gum acacia tragacan etc these kind of material are used for binding and the powders i told you are calcium carbonate talc and kaolin now the procedure that has been carried out okay is in steps there are two methods for applying this sub coating okay what you do is on to the tablet on to the tablet which has been sealed now on to this sealed tablet now you add first the binder solution so the binder solution is added on to it after addition of binder solution now what you do is you add the dusting powder so powder is been dusted down on to this which powders as i told you calcium carbonate talc Okay, kaolin. These kinds of powders are then dusted. This process is continuously carried out. So first you apply binders, then you apply powders. You dry it again. You apply binders, then again you apply powders. Again you dry it. You wait for some time. Again you apply powders. Sorry, binders, and again you apply powders. These steps goes on continuously until and unless you get you know uh, the tablet edges which are smooth. the edges the way you want the smooth edges as you want unless and until you get that or unless and until you get the desired thickness whatever is required so these are the two reasons why you are doing the tablet uh, sub coating one is in order to smoothen the tablet edges and second is in order to acquire the desired thickness so unless and until these two are achieved this process of spraying of binders application of powders against spraying of binders and application of binders goes on goes on continuously okay this is one method of application the second method of application which is a traditional method which was as it was done earlier many many uh, industries still fail on uh, uh, do this methods but there is other method also which has been done in which you prepare a liquid sub coat so a liquid sub coat is prepared how it is prepared by preparing the suspension of the filler material so you prepare the suspension of this calcium carbonate prepare the suspension of talc okay and this prepared suspension of calcium carbonate talc sucrose etc which is prepared in a gum solution the binder solution this is now sprayed onto the tablet like you do the spraying of other coating material which you have seen yesterday okay you spray the coating material in the similar manner this sub coating is applied by spraying also the advantage of this kind of a method is the lengthier process okay this this is quite a lengthier process this lengthier process is shortened because of this method so there are two methods of applying of sub coating sub coating is nothing but addition of the binder solution and then the powders to the uh, to the seal seal coat whatever you have done earlier and this is carried out continuously for first the binders then the powders again the binders and the powders this goes on continuously or you prepare a liquid sub coat and this liquid sub coat is applied in the form of suspension onto the uh, seal tablet okay let us move further on to the third step the third step is nothing but syruping now what does syruping do syruping usually covers the imperfections okay now what has happened is now because of the powders and because of the coating now the surface has become imperfect in nature okay there may be some dense uh, dense if you may be there into the tablets okay the surface will be not as smooth as required okay so this imperfections are removed by syruping so whatever are the imperfections which are caused because of sub coating are removed because with the help of syruping what is syruping syruping involves the application of the syrup coat okay syrup coating with the help of glossing syrups so what is glossing syrups when you have sugar solution along with the uh, dispersed material inside it that kind of syrup is known as that, that kind of syrup is known as glossing syrups so what you do is you either apply syrup okay if the if there is no much imperfections in the tablet then what you can do is you can go for application of syrup coating but the, if there are more imperfections in the tablet then what you have to do is then you have to go for glossing syrups okay so you first uh, apply glossing syrup onto the tablet and then what you do is in the subsequent step what you would do is in the syrup solution you add the dye the coloring agent okay 
and you mix the dye and the syrup solution and this syrup and dye are then uh, spread onto the tablet okay because of this final step where you apply clear solution along with the dye what is happening is you get a very smooth kind of a tablet you have to take care over here when you are when you are doing this that you should not apply the colors okay that is the syrup solution along with the colors that should not be applied until and unless the tablets are smooth in nature so no color should be added okay unless and until the tablets are smooth in nature quite smooth in nature okay because if you apply pre premature okay these colors then it is going to produce a mottled kind of an appearance in the final coated tablet what is mottled appearance mottled appearance is nothing but what is it what is mottling what is mottling when you get different different shape hello when you get different different shades on the tablet okay that type uh, of uh, color is known as mottled color okay when there is imperfection in color that is nothing but mottled kind of an appearance okay so what you get is mottled appearance is there if you apply the color before the tablets are smooth in nature okay as i told you so if there is imperfection in the tablet what you go for is grossing syrup it contains suspended solid particle okay and why the suspended solid by solid particles we are uh, using so that it can fill the voids or it can fill the imperfections okay that are there because of the sub coating this cannot be achieved only with the sugar solution okay so what you what you do after the sub coating so you do the sealing first then you go for sub coating and after sub coating what you go is what you do is first you add grossing syrup in the syruping step you first add the grossing syrup after adding the grossing syrup you add the plain syrup okay grossing syrup is going to remove the imperfection so what are the imperfections those are getting removed because of the grossing syrup then you add the syrup solution syrup solution is going to make your tablet very smooth in nature and the third thing that you are going to add after that is the syrup solution along with the color so syrup solution and color you are going to add to the tablet and it is going to give the final look to the tablet okay syrup coating constituent okay this grossing syrup constituent it colors consist of colors it consists of sub coating powders it consists of calcium carbonate it can consist of cane sugar powder corn syrup syrup and distilled water whatever you are going to use for sub coating okay this all can be present in grossing syrup also okay so just to just to uh, once again tell you about the step the first step that you go with sealing here you use zine and shellac okay zine and shellac are used for coating mostly zine is used for coating which removes the uh, which uh, seals the tablet and whereby the moisture is not going to enter into the tablet then you go for sub coating step in sub coating step there are two step one is the addition of binder solution and second is the addition of the sub coating powders okay binding solution and sub coating powders these are been added these are added step wise so there are two steps then you go for syruping in syruping there are three step first is grossing syrup addition of grossing syrup second is going to be addition of syrups uh, plain syrups and the third is going to be addition of syrups along with the uh, along with the colors okay this is going to be the third step okay now in the last step what you are going to do is you do the polishing okay once once the desired uh, what you call that uh, desired coat has been obtained once the desired color has been obtained you go to the final step that is the polishing step okay this polishing step gives the luster it gives the shine okay which you require from the it gives that final elegance that is required from the tablet you have to remember that sugar coated tablet are more glossier as compared to film coated tablet film coated tablet are little bit they may be having a little bit of matte kind of a finish whereas sugar coated tablet has a very glossy kind of an appearance okay now here the polishing of tablet is carried out in a standard coated pan okay the same machine is been used and in this machine this standard coated pan is now lined with a canvas okay you can see over here this is this is the coating pan it is similar to what your coating pan is the only difference is it is the same machine the earlier pan has been removed and this pan has been affixed over here 
this pan is having this canvas lining okay so you have a you have a pan with a canvas lining this pan is used for basically the polishing how do you carry out the polishing again polishing is carried out by two methods in one method what you what you do is you add the waxy substances the polishing is carried out with the help of waxes okay just for example you can take carnauba wax you can take bees wax you can take paraffin wax okay so these different different kinds of waxes basically uses carnauba wax carnauba wax is very uh, widely used so this carnauba wax is taken and it is applied onto this canvas okay so you take the can uh, you take carnauba wax this carnauba wax is applied onto the canvas the tablets which are already been uh, 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 with the syrup coating okay these tablets are put and color has been applied these tablets are put into this canvas uh, uh, lined wax coated canvas okay and the tablets are tumbled okay with this tumbling of tablet with the rotation of tablet this canvas uh, this wax gets applied onto your uh, uh, what you call it onto your tablet and it shows the duster it is similar to the polishing of the shoes the polishing of shoes aapne kiya hua hai in polishing of shoes what you do is you take the polish and which is which is again a wax and that wax is put onto this uh, shoes isn't it and what you get is finally you get a very good luster onto it isn't it once you polish it with the canvas cloth uh, your shoes finally when you polish polish it with the canvas cloth what you get is you get a very good luster in the similar manner the luster is been achieved to your sugar coated tablet okay this is one way of doing it whereby the uh, uh, wax is applied to the canvas cloth okay and the tablets are added to it the second the second way of doing it is you can prepare a warm solution of waxes okay in naphtha or any suitable volatile solvent and you put the tablets into this pan and then you apply further the uh, solution onto the tablets okay then and and the tumbling is going on simultaneously the rotation of tablet is going on the movement of tablet is going on simultaneously okay and with this uh, and uh, by the second method also what you can do is you can go for tablet polishing okay so these are the two ways by which the tablets can be polished okay the next step that is involved is also known as printing which are not taken over here but this final stage can be printed with the help of printing machine printing of each and every tablet okay each and every tablet is passed through this printing machine and each and every tablet is printed okay with the help of this printing machine so printing can also be uh, is also possible after polishing of the tablet